today I wanted to start a new little series on my channel called Techie Talk with Rosalie. So if you don't know what techie means, it's just a cute little abbreviation for technology. And also it's a name for people who just love technology so much. So I'm going to do various videos on my channel for this Techie Talk series. All ranging from what equipment to use on a video, to how to make a banner and a thumbnail, and everything in between. So to start off Techie Talk episode 1, I'm going to guide you through the best techie presents this holiday season. Most of these presents are very expensive only because technology is expensive. That's just how life is. So whatever you're looking for this holiday season, I can guarantee that I'll help you find it. Let's get started. So there are two types of headphones. One is the full-size noise-canceling headphones that you put over your head. They're pretty big and chunky. And the other ones are in-ear or earbud headphones. But a really good and cheap headphone brand is definitely Skull Candy. They're really affordable. You can get them in the earbuds. You can get them just like this. These actually fold inside itself, so they're portable and you can bring them around with you. If you're looking for a more high-quality headphone, I suggest you go with Beats by Dr. Dre. It's a very popular headphone. They do have the earbuds, but they specialize in the bigger headphones. They are very expensive though, only because they are great quality. They're very soft on your ears. They're extremely noise canceling. The sound quality is just fantastic. Another expensive headphone is this new brand called Friends. I feel like these are more for the fashionista, but I haven't seen them in stores, so I'm thinking that you can only buy them online. They call these things on the side caps, and you can actually change them if you'd like. You can get different ones in different colors and patterns. For someone who loves to listen to music and has an iPhone or an iPod, getting them a speaker for their device is definitely a good present. You don't have to spend that much money on them because every store carries different kinds of speakers. Etsy.com is known for their really creative DIY sellers. You can find pretty much anything on Etsy. I like to look at a lot of their phone cases because they have very, very cute ones that have Decodin and fake frosting on them, little characters from favorite animes. Zazzle and CafePress.com are the best sites to go on if you want to customize anything. If you're an avid Instagrammer and you want your pictures from Instagram, you can actually print them out on a website called Instagram.am. The two big cell phones on the market right now are the iPhone 6 and the Samsung Galaxy S5. You can look up videos on YouTube of iPhone versus Samsung and you'll see a lot of different reviews and opinions from all these people. So it's definitely up to you to decide if you want the iPhone or the Galaxy. If you like taking pictures and videos, I heard that the Galaxy has a great camera. I am an Apple lover. I love my MacBook Pro. I kind of wanted the MacBook Air because it is more portable and light, very thin, but I also have my eye on the new Lenovo Yoga Pro 3. I think it's a really, really cool take on a laptop. It's a two-in-one, so it's a laptop and it also turns into a tablet. You can actually flip the keyboard around to the back side of the screen and it's touchscreen. So obviously if you're a Mac baby, you should definitely get it. There's nothing wrong with the Mac. It's just it's not a touchscreen and it's not a tablet so you can't fold it but not a lot of people are looking for that quality if you just want a simple laptop that you can take with you to class on the plane you have a business meeting whatever it is then I suggest to go with Apple and plus Apple has a lot of great apps that you can get especially if you're a youtuber it takes Final Cut Pro you have iMovie on it already I don't know exactly what the Lenovo has and I'm not sure if it even has a webcam but the Mac does and the Mac has a sleeker design Lenovo is a part of Microsoft if you own an Xbox, they kind of have the same layout. And if you're looking for a bigger computer, like a desktop, I recommend getting a Mac desktop. I had my fair share to play around with them in class and use all these different softwares. So if you are going to school for graphic design, computer art, or anything in that realm, and you're looking to pursue a career in that field, you definitely want to invest in a desktop, especially a Mac. The quality on those computers are so great. I love the Retina display. Um, it makes everything so much more high def and brighter in color. They're cheaper than laptops. The sizes that the desktop comes in are so huge. They're almost like a small TV for your room, but they're very high power. They have a lot of space. You can use all your Adobe software on it, like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. And I think Safari, their internet, is way faster than anything on Microsoft. So obviously there is the iPad and the Kindle Fire. iPads are really fun, I love playing on them. It's more of a game playing device than reading or watching movies. And the Kindle Fire is more of a watching movie, reading books type of tablet. If you have kids that want something from Apple, an iPad is great for them because you can get a bunch of apps, you can 
a lot of people love playing games. If you have little kids or you want to get in shape, I suggest you get the Wii. The newest console of the Wii is the Wii U and it comes with a controller that has a screen on it so you can play on the TV or on the portable system. The biggest and newest consoles are the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. I used to have PlayStation 2. I've never upgraded to the 3 or the 4. My boyfriend gave us the Xbox 360 and now he has an Xbox One. I think the Xbox One is awesome. There are so many cool features on there. The graphics for the games now are just immensely higher than what they were back then. The controller is very soft and sleek. It comes with a Kinect. I don't know too much about the PS4, but I do know some of my friends who have it, and I always hear better things about the Xbox. So maybe you want to go towards that one. I think a really cool thing to do if you are a girl and you have a boyfriend and you know he plays games like nobody's business, you should show him that you know how to play games too. So look for a game for his platform that is multiplayer so you two can play together. This brings you closer and helps you bond a little bit more and it's a very fun way to spend your afternoons or nights. I recommend getting any Lego games like Lego Star Wars or Lego Marvel. Those are my favorites. The Lego characters are so cute and it's just fun destroying everything because you get so many coins. That's my favorite part of those games. You can always get somebody a CD from their favorite artist, but if you're looking for a little twist on the CD, you can always get somebody a record. And yes, they have record players. They call them turntables now. They sell them at Urban Outfitters, and you can find them online everywhere else. But a lot of artists are now going vinyl, like One Direction, Macklemore, Tay Swift, Walk the Moon, so many artists. But you need a turntable before you actually buy the records. Of course you can get people their favorite TV shows or movies in a box set. For all you photographers and filmographers, YouTuber or not, a camera can suit pretty much anybody really well. Canon is one of the best camera makers out there. And the last techie present I think that is so cute is the Instax by Fuji Films. I actually have one in yellow. My boyfriend got this for me for our anniversary and it's the Instax Mini 8. The Instax usually costs $120, but you can get yours at Michael's for $90 right now. The film packs are kind of expensive. They're like $15 each, but you do get two packs of 10. So use your Instax wisely. You definitely need the film because this does not come with it. They have regular white, which I have, and they also have tie-dye, different colors, polka dots, stars. And if you're going to get this for somebody, make sure to get them a little photo album to put all their film strips in. Yep, these are all my pictures. All my Instax pictures. Thank you for joining me for my first episode in this mini-series. So what would you guys like to see me talk about next? Comment down below and leave me your suggestions. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you thought this gift guide was definitely helpful for you guys. Also check out Vlogmas on my second channel going on right now. The link to Rosalie 2.0 will be down in the description box. See you in the next video.